So here we are on a SharePoint site, a SharePoint Online site. If I want to save this as a template, what I need to do is to go up into the top right hand corner and select the clock cog. Now that cog will pull down a menu. The menu option we want to select here is site settings. So that will take us into the admin area. You obviously need to be an administrator to have the rights to do this. You'll see that under site actions here, there is an option here called save site as template. So let's select that and that will then take us to an area where we need to give uh, our template a name, uh, a file name, an actual descriptive name and some description. You'll notice that we also have the option here to include the content so if we select this without this option checked then what we get is the structure of our site, the libraries, the list but nothing inside those. If we select the include content then we not only get the structure but we also get all the uh, information, all the documents, all the settings um, that is inside that structure. So what you can see here that I've done is I've given it a file name, a template name and also a quick description. In this case I'm not going to include the content. I'll select OK. Now this will uh, go out and actually save all that information uh, into a file. It will then put that file into the solutions gallery area of SharePoint and we can then work with it from there. Okay, you see that our site template has been created successfully. I can go OK here to return to the site, but what we need to do is we need to go to the solution gallery. So if we select the option there, we're taken to the solution gallery for the site collections at the very top, and you'll see here that I have the site template. Now what I can do is I can actually select this file, and then I can download that and save that to my local disk. I can then use that file and upload it to another SharePoint site or another tenant. Um, gives me that flexibility to migrate information across. So what I'll do is I'll save that firstly so that I have a copy and then we'll look at actually continuing to use this uh, site template within the site collection that it was first created with. Okay, so as you can see I have um, downloaded and saved uh, the template to my local disk so I can close this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go basically back into uh, my site and then what I'm going to do, so the site is actually down here under team, so you'll see this is my uh, original site but I'm going to go back up to the demo area which is a level above and I'm now going to go in and create a new site based on that template. So what I'm going to do down here is to go to site contents on the bottom left hand corner and I'll scroll down the bottom here and I'll create a new subsite. Now when I create a new subsite you'll see that under the template options in the middle here I've got the normal collaboration enterprise duet but if I select custom you'll see here is the site template that I just created. So now if I go through and fill out all my details and create the site it will be based on that site template. Okay so what I've done here is I've uh, given the uh, template the new site a name it's going to be called from template you'll see the URL is from template I'm going to use the custom template I've already saved same sort of permissions and I'm going to create. So what's going to happen now is SharePoint will create a subsite but use that custom template that we've just saved to create this new site. This will give us the look and the feel but um, will allow us to input um, our own data into that area. Okay so in a few moments you'll see that this is our new site. It's called From Template. It looks and feels exactly the same as um, our original site but it has no information in it so again um, very very similar because that's based off the template so now what we'll do is if we navigate back to the top we'll see that this is a site a subsite created off the top level site so if I go back into my top level demo site and then go into uh, site contents you'll see down the bottom here under subsites you'll see here's my new site that I created off that template called from template. So once you do create a template um, it's as simple as uh, being able to reuse it in that site collection because it's already available when you create a new site. Um, you can get to it again by going into site settings anywhere in your site collection uh, then going to solutions 
and in there you will see here's the site template so it's under the solutions and as I've noted we can click on it to download it.